Okay, so I've started and stopped this probably 10 times, so I'm just going to ramble. Um, I moved here from Saskatoon, and leaving from there, I had previously competed uh, for four years in bikini. Um, I keep saying, um. And I had gone to nationals four times. Um, I've done eight shows. And so with that experience, um, having four different coaches and doing all of those shows and being involved in the fitness industry for that long, I've learned a lot. And I like to share my information with people. And I'm so used to... Jesus. <laughs> Here, um, I'm taking the opportunity to start my own business. And it's been great so far, actually. Uh, something that I never thought that I would have the guts to do. I'd always put it on the back burner and I'd always say, you know, like one day I'm going to start my own fitness company and I'm going to do my own um, online coaching and do things my own way. Because um, when you're under the, um, under the roof of someone else's company, you have to abide by their rules and do things a certain way. And so you're always going to have... Um, ideas in the back of your mind about how you would do things and how you would uh, direct people and so my main passion with fitness is helping women understand that um, especially today when competing is so big and such a huge influence on people's fitness goals that you don't need to compete to reach your goals me I for one was very happy with myself and very happy with my body and my relationship with food before I started competing. And uh, my excuse or my reason, I should say, for competing was that I wanted so badly to challenge myself and tell myself that I could do it and, um, you know, strict because I crave structure. I love structure. And so competing gave me that structure for so many um, for four years, I should say, and for eight shows. And so when you have that structure, um, you don't want to get out of it, I guess. So beyond those boundaries, when you're not competing anymore, um, it's really, really hard to decipher what your goals are. Like this is my first year in four years that I'm not competing. And honestly, I've never felt so lost and so confused like who I am I outside of competing if I'm not a bikini competitor who am I which is so sad to say because you are so much more than a competitor you're so much more than a bikini competitor you know like um I always tell people that bikini a bikini athlete is part of who I am but it's not who I am it's not my complete identity my friends and my family and my clients know who I am and I'm an extremely goofy person who just so happens to enjoy fitness and enjoy everything that it's brought to my life. Um, on the other side of that, basically my channel is just going to be about my experiences in the industry and also um, moving, it sounds like I broke up with competing, but moving on because I hear so many times uh, talking to friends, clients, you know, are you going to compete again? When are you going to compete again? Why aren't you competing this year? Like, should I not compete? Like, why should I? Why shouldn't I? And my personal opinion with competing is that um, if you want to do it, then do it. Like, no one's stopping you from doing it. But at the same time, you have to look at your reasons for wanting to do it. And my reason every year was that I didn't realize it, I realize it now, was that I had nothing else. Like that was, that was my main goal, that was my main focus. Every year was like come in harder, come in leader, um, place, win, get your pro card. And then at the end of the day, like for this year, I was just like, oh my God, like I'm exhausted, you know? Um, four years uh, in a row, eight shows to each of them. Uh, two per year back to back you're exhausted and so you know I thought I was superwoman and thinking that you know every year I'm gonna compete I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this no matter what anyone says like I can do it but the sacrifices that I kept making were just not 
worth it to me anymore. Like um, weddings and family functions, um, they were just not worth it to me. Because every time that a show fell on a wedding or show, or uh, sorry, wow, fell near a wedding or a family experience, special occasion, my dog's making so much noise behind the couch. Um, I would think like, okay, so what's more important, competing or like going to that person's wedding? Because like I can't, it's just like I can't eat the food there, and I'm gonna be tired, and I. You know, I'm going to be exhausted, so I can't go. And so then it's, you know, you just you need to take a step back and be like, I don't know, where are your priorities? Where mine should be with family. Mine should be with health. Mine should be with friends. And so for the longest time, it was about competing and, you know, getting leaner and looking better. And it is such a, um, it is such a, a selfish sport. I know people say that all the time, but experiencing it firsthand it is such a selfish sport and so um i want to be i I don't want to say i want to be selfish but i still want to make myself a priority but in other ways like um starting my business and starting a new life in a new city and in a new province um and i'll have i have days where i'm like oh my god did i make the right decision not in terms of did I make the dis the right decision to move here, or um, did I make the right decision to stop competing? But it's really difficult when you have all of those changes seemingly working against you, um, which uh, later I will get into all of my personal like this is soap opera uh, into my personal changes that I've made. I need to see what's going on back here. What are you doing? Are you trying to get attention? Gats. Needs constant attention. Um, yeah. So, basically my channel, that's what it's going to be about. Um, trying to find life outside of competing when that's all you've known for so long. Like, even when my boyfriend we discussed all the time I'm like I don't even know what I should be doing in the gym should I be doing uh, power lifting should I be working on my glutes should I be working on my shoulders should I be do cardio be doing cardio uh, should I be really strict with my just a little tidbit about me and who I am and uh, what my channel is gonna be about so follow along Thanks for watching. Oh, I didn't turn it off. <laughs> Is it still going?